I'm a little hungry. I didn't eat all day. Well, don't worry. <laughs> we have eaten the food that belongs to next. Then call us to get another copy. Um, I was scared you would get mad at me if I... The moral support? Yes, for moral support. Okay. And how old are you? You didn't make it to 30? No, not if I don't get your help. <laughs> so if you realize that, then... And what percentage represented sadness? Fifty mm, percent. Number ten, Joyce Delvis Covo. Joyce Delvis Covo gained public attention when she appeared on season eight of the popular reality TV show My Six Hundred Pound Life. Despite her initial desire to transform her life, Joyce faced numerous challenges on her weight loss journey. After her departure from the program, she seemed to disappear from the internet and social media. This article delves into Joyce Delvis Covo's experiences on the show, her absence from the public eye, and the possible reasons behind it. When Joyce Delvis Covo made her debut on My 600 Pound Life, she was in critical condition, weighing over 750 pounds. Her physical and emotional well-being were severely affected, with self-care and mobility becoming significant issues. At the age of 44, she faced the same weight-related health concerns that led to her father's untimely passing. The traumatic experiences of her childhood, including attack, contributed to her ongoing psychological struggles. Joyce's weight problem started early in life, with her reaching 400 pounds by the age of 20. Under the care of Dr. Nazaruddin, Joyce embarked on a weight loss journey that would prove to be difficult. She had reservations about following the prescribed 1200 calorie diet and her lack of trust in the doctor's advice hindered her progress. Despite being on the program for nine months, she only managed to lose 134 pounds. Like, duh, I don't get this big eating small amounts. So why would you? She's going to die and then <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it. This hasn't been able to physically help me pack. So it's been hard, but it is Joyce's last chance to get the help. How are you feeling about all this? It really is a big risk, you know? If I don't do this, then it's just kind of waiting until my body gives out and I'm not here. Joyce's attitude toward food remained unchanged, and she often demanded that her caretakers continue to feed her. These factors led to her departure from the program as she struggled to embrace the necessary lifestyle changes. Joyce Delvis Cova's absence from the public eye is evident in her lack of active social media profiles. It's clear that she desires privacy and doesn't wish to be in the limelight after her appearance on My 600 Pound Life. Speculation suggests that she leads a secluded life, rarely venturing outside of her home. Her disengagement from the program and her retreat from social media indicate that she may not be actively pursuing her fitness goals. Otherwise, she might have shared her progress on platforms like Instagram, where fan pages continue to discuss her journey. During her time on the show, Joyce faced skepticism and low expectations from both viewers and fellow cast members. Her doubts about Dr. Nazaruddin's guidance and her lack of commitment to natural weight loss methods led many to question her dedication. Any pain anywhere? Just a little bit, like residual pain from being in pain for so long. When you shorten that breath? A little bit, yeah. It's hard for me to take a deep breath right now. Okay. And the good news is, you don't sound like you're, you know that, right? <laughs> yes, I do. All right, but we'll get you something, okay? <laughs> All right, that now. But then after that, we'll get you situated in the room and uh, get some lab work on. The audience anticipated that she was primarily seeking surgery for quick results rather than a long-term lifestyle transformation. Comments from online sources, such as the fan page Cassandra 600 Pound Life, echo this sentiment, with some labeling Joyce as lazy. However, it's crucial to remember that the edited portrayal on the show may not capture the full complexity of her circumstances. Joyce Delvis Covo's journey on My 600 Pound Life was marked by significant challenges and personal struggles. After leaving the program, she disappeared from the public eye, indicating her desire for privacy. It's unclear whether she continues to pursue her weight loss goals, but it's essential to approach her story with empathy and understanding. Joyce's experiences highlight the complexities of battling obesity and the profound impact it can have on an individual's physical and mental well-being. Number 9. Carlton and Chantel 
In Season 8 of My 600 Pound Life, viewers were introduced to the brother and sister duo Carlton and Chantel Oglesby. From an early age, they struggled with obesity, eventually reaching a breaking point when their mobility was severely impacted. Determined to change their lives for the better, they made the life-altering decision to seek help from the renowned bariatric surgeon Dr. Now. Carlton and Chantel's journey wasn't an easy one, but they weren't alone in their pursuit of a healthier lifestyle. Chantel's husband and three children accompanied her, while Carlton's girlfriend Monica stood by his side. Despite having met just one day before embarking on their trip to Houston, their mutual support and determination made them a formidable team. When their episode aired, Carlton weighed a staggering 786 pounds, while Chantel was nearly 640 pounds. Under the guidance of Dr. Now, they embarked on a strict diet and exercise regimen, hoping to qualify for weight loss surgery. After six months of unwavering dedication, Carlton had shed an impressive 243 pounds and Chantel had lost 215 pounds. The question remained, however, did they manage to sustain their weight loss progress? Fortunately, the answer is a resounding yes. Chantel in particular took her transformation to new heights by starting a YouTube channel called Chantel Sheds the Weight. Her channel became a source of inspiration filled with love, support, and valuable insights into her weight loss journey. Going out, I believe she was the one the first time I saw her. I was around 540, and the cycle continued with my pregnancy with Treasure. And when I had her, we clicked right there. So it wasn't much of her size that I was worrying about. 27, I was close to 600, and that's when I started to lose my mobility too. When I was 20, to start giving me the stuff from up there so we could sit on the bed. Oh, yes, we need that. In her videos, she emphasized the importance of not only improving her physical well-being, but also nurturing her spiritual self. She expressed her commitment to personal growth and vowed to share her experiences with others, helping them along their own paths of self-improvement. Keeping up with her progress, Chantel frequently updated her Facebook page 600 Pound Transformation Chantel. Chantel frequently updated her Facebook page 600 Pound Transformation Chantel, giving her followers glimpses of her continued weight loss achievements. While Carlson's Instagram page hasn't been updated since 2020, his bio resonates with his desire for a healthier life. It reads, Just trying my best, living a healthy life. Although details about a specific progress are scarce, it's evident that he remains committed to his well-being. In addition to their personal journeys, both Carlton and Chantel ventured into the world of entrepreneurship. The desserts I wanted, and I would just take advantage of it, and I would eat, and my mom wouldn't be crying. And my about I was messaging Monica and telling her I'm doing this move and leaving Ohio. And then I'm sad. We have 19. I was almost 500 pounds. And the dreams I have for the future. So I feel like I'm missing life completely, and it's all because of food. Chantel launched her own business called Beauty Besties Beauty. She used her personal Instagram page to promote her beauty line, featuring products such as body scrubs and sunglasses. Additionally, she offered self-defense items suitable for individuals on the go. With over 5,600 orders shipped, her business thrived, highlighting her entrepreneurial spirit and determination to succeed. Meanwhile, Carlton celebrated a significant milestone in his personal life. He and his girlfriend Monica got engaged several years after their appearance on My 600 Pound Life. A heartwarming Facebook profile picture update on Carlton's page captured the joyous moment as they held hands, accompanied by the caption, she said yes. Their love story became an inspiration to others, proving that transformation goes beyond weight loss. It extends to personal relationships and finding happiness. Carlton and Chantel's journey on My 600 Pound Life touched the hearts of many viewers. Their unwavering determination, resilience, and support for one another and their families were awe-inspiring. They proved that with the right mindset and a strong support system, anyone can overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles. As the final notes of their weight loss journey fade away, the impact of Carlton and Chantel's transformation will endure for years to come. Their story serves as a beacon of hope for those struggling with obesity, reminding us that change is indeed possible and a better, healthier life awaits. Number 8. Shauna Collins Shauna Collins, 
a participant on the popular reality TV show My 600 Pound Life, has faced numerous challenges on her weight loss journey. Shauna opens up about losing the papers containing Dr. Now's diet and exercise plan and her fears of disappointing both her loved ones and the renowned weight loss specialist Dr. Nazaruddin. Shauna's determination to improve her wealth is evident as she shares her efforts to find healthier meals and work with her friend Derekus to create a better diet. She acknowledges the importance of losing the weight required by Dr. Nazaruddin and hopes that by doing so, she will qualify for his program. Shauna even contemplates moving to Texas, with Derekus providing ongoing support and care. However, Shauna's fears and anxieties prevent her from reaching out to Dr. Nazaruddin about the lost papers. She worries that he will be upset or dismiss her from the program altogether. It's clear that Shauna views Dr. Nazaruddin as the key to her transformation and her future rests in his hands. After two months of attempting to figure out the diet without the necessary information, Shauna's mother encourages her to call Dr. Nazaruddin and explain the situation. Overcoming her fears, Shauna reaches out to the renowned weight loss specialist, speaking to him about her lost papers and expressing her concern about wasting valuable time. Hi, can I please talk to Dr. Nazaruddin? Sure, appointment. So, if you're calling, I'm guessing you're still in Kansas City right now, huh? Yes, sir. I'm doing my diet, I think. But um, when I was coming back home, I lost the... Um... So I'm guessing you wasted two months of time. You could have been making progress. Is that the case? Try to get another one from us. So you don't seem very motivated to do this. So tell me... Dr. Nazaruddin questions her motivation, emphasizing the importance of being accountable and dedicated to the process. Despite Dr. Nazaruddin's disappointment, he agrees to give Shauna another chance. He provides her with one more month to lose 50 pounds and sends her a new copy of the diet plan. Shauna commits to following the guidelines, including eating only three times a day, avoiding snacking and high-calorie foods, and focusing on meat and vegetables. She assures Dr. Now that she's already made some positive changes, such as eliminating snacking and soda from her diet. Shauna's struggle with self-doubt and fear of disappointing others is evident. So what's going on? Uh, I didn't read the... I get mad at you now for doing nothing and wasting all that time. Yeah. And waiting all that time. So, what is with that? So for the food, be my guest. So why eat and lose weight? Or like I should have by calling you and telling you that I well, lost it. You didn't do that, but couldn't you eat? She admits that her desire to please people often hinders her progress. However, she remains determined to prove herself and shows gratitude for the opportunity given by Dr. Nazaruddin. Shauna's story is one of resilience as she confronts her insecurities and commits to making positive changes in her life. Despite setbacks and the pressure to meet demanding weight loss goals, she displays a willingness to continue fighting for her well-being. Shauna's journey serves as an inspiration for others facing similar challenges, reminding them that it's never too late to seek help and work towards a healthier future. As Shauna continues her path towards better health, she teaches us the importance of perseverance and the power of facing our fears head on. With the renewed support of Dr. Nazaruddin and her loved ones, Shauna's story promises to be one of strength, determination, and ultimately, transformation. Number 7. Tommy Johnson Tommy Johnson's journey was nothing short of remarkable. The Louisiana resident entered the show weighing a staggering 641 pounds, experiencing intense pain and limited mobility. However, through dedication and perseverance, he managed to undergo a transformative weight loss, significantly improving his overall health and quality of life. Tommy's battle with obesity began at an early age, seeking solace and happiness in food. His struggles were compounded by the loss of his father at the tender age of eight. His father's alcoholism indirectly contributed to Tommy's overeating habits. Additionally, after his father's passing due to a heart attack, Tommy faced physical attack that further exacerbated his already changing life. By the time he turned 18, Tommy weighed a staggering 500 pounds, signifying the magnitude of his struggle. Yeah, I still want to eat. I'm, I'm going to eat. 
I'm gonna be joyful for a few minutes, but kind of a pitiful look or a shameful look or any look of angst or. Tetris ain't your recipe. It's good. It tastes good too. He's killing himself. With every bite of food that he knows is bad for him, he is killing himself. It just makes you feel kind of useless. So I know I. After years of enduring the consequences of his obesity, Tommy at last decided to prioritize his health. He joined Dr. Now's low calorie program, resulting in an initial weight loss of 70 pounds in just a few months. With his dedication recognized, he was approved for weight loss surgery, leading to even more impressive results. Within a year, Tommy shed an astounding 423 pounds, reaching a weight of 218 pounds. Aside from his weight loss achievements, one of the most significant positive influences in Tommy's life was his girlfriend Amanda. From the onset of his appearance on My 600 Pound Life, it was evident that Amanda cared deeply for Tommy and supported him unconditionally. Not only did she assist him with daily activities, but she also played a crucial role in his weight loss journey, offering delicious and healthy meals. Tommy and Amanda were a loving and devoted couple, leading many to speculate that they might eventually tie the knot. Unfortunately, there have been no recent updates on their relationship, as Tommy isn't active on social media. Tommy's time on My 600 Pound Life allowed him to confront and overcome the demons that had haunted him since childhood. He was candid about his struggles, from his father's complex to the physical attack he endured. During his journey, Dr. Now recommended that Tommy seek therapy from Lola Clay, which ultimately helped him confront his past and achieve his goals. Although Tommy has maintained a low profile since his appearance on the show, fans of My 600 Pound Life remain hopeful and curious about his progress. While it's uncertain whether Tommy and Amanda married, many viewers believe that they should stay together, rooting for their continued happiness. Some concerns have been raised about Amanda's intentions with claims that she might have an obese fetish. However, it's important to remember that Tommy's personal life and relationships are his own, and the audience can only hope for his well-being. Since Tommy's last appearance on My 600 Pound Life in 2020, he's made few public appearances, leaving fans wondering about his current whereabouts and ongoing weight loss journey. It's possible that he may be filming an update episode to showcase his incredible progress over the past few years. Additionally, the global COVID-19 pandemic has undoubtedly presented unique challenges and fans are curious about how Tommy has coped with these circumstances while continuing to make positive strides in his health. Despite the uncertainty surrounding Tommy's current situation, his story remains an inspiration in many. He has demonstrated immense resilience, determination, and the ability to overcome significant obstacles. At 641 pounds, I would agree with you. So, you're 38 volt uh, my knees are deteriorating, my hips are deteriorating. It basically was, you know. Six? Yes, sir. So it's been a long time since you've been functioning like you need. Yes, sir. So I see both of you have problems with your weight. So if you're living together and she's the one who fed her to overeat, so is that something you both realize? No, no, sir. Number six, Dominic Hernandez. In the captivating world of My 600 Pound Life, where individuals battle their way to a healthier life, one man stood out as a symbol of resilience and determination. Dominic Hernandez, a participant in Season 8, faced a multitude of challenges that tested his commitment and strength. From the moment Dominic's episode aired, it was clear that he wasn't an ordinary case for the renowned Houston-based bariatric surgeon Dr. Now. Weighing over 650 pounds, Dominic's circumstances were far from ideal for embarking on a weight loss journey. Homelessness had stripped away his ability to maintain a healthy diet or engage in regular exercise. Additionally, mobility challenges plagued him, making each step an uphill battle for him. Dr. Now saw the potential in Dominic, and he believed he could be a great candidate for his transformative plan. With an unwavering commitment to his patients' well-being, Dr. Now crafted a rigorous regimen designed to shed pounds and pave the way for life-saving bariatric surgery. However, adhering to this plan proved to be an arduous task for Dominic. While some participants on the show embraced Dr. Now's strict diets and instructions, 
Dominic found it difficult to stay on track. California. Central California. Valley. That's quite a ways. So uh, you came all this way so, with the same pattern, but they're not quite as bad as you. Yeah. Okay. So that's 72 pounds. And how's your activity? Uh, limited, none. So you're struggling with your mobility. So you're not working now, huh? No. You don't work, and he doesn't work. How do you make a living if you're not uh, working? Um, well, general and I, aid and food stamps. And I used to work through temp agencies. He gets jobs every once in a while. Yeah. Uh, too much and bad food. So what kind of food supply you all have at uh, your... That we could just eat, you know, out of the can. We eat a lot of soups. Yeah, soups. Cold. And like Despite losing 23 pounds in the initial two months, Dominic fell short of the doctor's ambitious goals of 60 pounds. Disappointment loomed, and it became clear that he couldn't continue in the program. Dominic's journey didn't end with the show's conclusion, though. Determined to turn his life around, he moved into an apartment in Texas with his brother, seeking stability and a fresh start. While his weight loss progress remained minimal, other aspects of his life showed promise. A GoFundMe campaign emerged as a beacon of hope, a platform where Dominic aimed to rebuild his life after the hardships of homelessness. As the days turned into weeks, Dominic's dedication shone through. Though his physical transformation had yet to gain significant momentum, his spirits lifted as he embraced the stability of a proper home. Within the walls of his new apartment, Dominic began to make subtle changes to his eating habits, recognizing the vital role they play in his overall well-being. The road ahead remained challenging, yet Dominic's determination never wavered. The winds of change whispered their promises, igniting a flicker of hope within him. While the weight loss journey he embarked on was far from easy, he knew that true transformation extended beyond mere physical appearance. Dominic continues to persevere, driven by the desire to achieve his optimal health. With each passing day, Dominic's progress may be subtle, but it is undeniable. The shadows of his past may linger, but the future beckons with possibilities. There is hope that his path will intersect once again with Dr. Now, the man who believed in him from the start. As the story of Dominic Hernandez unfolds, it reminds us that true transformation is a tapestry woven from countless small victories and moments of perseverance. With the weight of his past gradually lifting, Dominic's journey represents an inspiring testament to the strength of the human spirit in a world where weight loss is often glamorized and simplified. Beyond the numbers on a scale, there lies a person fighting against the odds, refusing to surrender to the challenges that life presents. Dominic Hernandez's journey is far from over, but his unwavering spirit and the flicker of hope within his eyes assure us that his transformation will be nothing short of extraordinary. Please, but the, in those long lines, we didn't get to make it in. And then the next day we went back. They... Okay, so then what kind of changes you made in your eating habit? Um, um, enough money to go get more, but it was still, it's not the healthiest, but it was still under the... 1,200 calories. To psychotherapy to see if they can help you make some progress, okay? Okay. Number five, Drew Stewart. Drew Stewart, the indomitable force behind the Anderson family's weight loss journey, has emerged as a true inspiration for TLC fans everywhere. From the moment we met him on Family by the Ton, wearing clothing so massive that the scale couldn't bear the weight, Drew's transformation has been nothing short of remarkable. After undergoing gastric bypass surgery, Drew's unwavering determination and resilience have propelled him towards his goals. His positive attitude and commitment to self-discipline have allowed him to navigate the challenging path of weight loss with grace. Even when setbacks occur, like the realization of a 14-pound weight gain, Drew quickly regains his focus and remains steadfast in his pursuit of a healthier lifestyle. It's not just physical changes that have defined Drew's journey. From each other and help with each other's struggles where, you know, you're only a... Ten pieces. Why did you order so many pieces? Because we didn't cook. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that myself. I might have to take a bite. There we go, man. Ooh. Our pizza's gone. Right. But their pizza... I from time to time, I, I figure, what's the harm? Mm. Gotta take home some. 
I have to knock it off with this overeating before it kills me. Mentally and emotionally, he has grappled with the complexities of his relationship with food. Through self-reflection and the support of his loving family, Drew has uncovered a newfound understanding of his own motivations and has cultivated the discipline needed to resist the tempting allure of fast food. In his pursuit of better health, Drew has discovered unexpected delight. He has embraced a homemade shake as his go-to diet food concocted with melon, raspberry, spinach, and kale. Surprisingly tasty, this nutritious blend fuels his progress. When it comes to exercise, swimming has become his go-to activity, followed by a relaxing reward in the spa. It's a routine that keeps him motivated and engaged. Amidst his incredible transformation, Drew has also found a furry companion, Swag. Through his Instagram page, Drew shares the adventures of his newfound best friend, capturing hearts and spreading joy along the way. Drew's journey isn't just about shedding pounds, it's about breaking down stereotypes and advocating for understanding and sensitivity towards the complex disease of obesity. He is definitely over 550. Okay. Hold this around here, okay? Just readjust. Okay. Yes. So, normally when, when the skeleton says stop, mm -hmm. it just means that we can't have- After all of this, that I still don't know how much I weigh. Number four, James Bedard. James Bedard, a participant on the 10th season, captivated audiences with his inspiring journey of transformation. At the age of 38, James found himself trapped in a vicious cycle of food addiction and an unhealthy lifestyle. However, he was determined to turn his life around and embarked on a remarkable journey towards weight loss and improved health. From the beginning of this episode, James displayed a resolute determination to change his eating patterns and overall lifestyle. He openly discussed his food addiction and how it had led him to reach an astonishing weight of 625 pounds. James confessed that he constantly thought about food, ordering copious amounts even before getting out of bed in the morning. The cycle of eating breakfast, followed by thoughts of lunch, snacks, and dinner, perpetuated his weight gain. James faced numerous challenges due to his excessive weight. Basic daily tasks became arduous for him, hindering his mobility and impacting his quality of life. However, he made an effort to maintain proper hygiene despite experiencing breathlessness and fatigue. His struggle with cooking led him to rely on ordering food from eateries throughout the day, exacerbating his weight gain. Throughout his journey, James received unwavering support from his brother, cousins, and friends. His cousin Cheyenne stood by him consistently, providing him with companionship and encouragement. Their bond was evident as Cheyenne brought James his favorite foods like red velvet cake to enjoy together. James' weight issues stemmed from a tumultuous childhood largely spent without a proper father figure. The absence of a paternal influence, combined with a diet heavily influenced by Caribbean food, contributed to his unhealthy relationship with food. At a mere six years old, James had already crossed the 100-pound mark, and by the time he turned 18, he had gained an additional 200 pounds. Food became a constant source of comfort for him, leading him to form close relationships with the lunch ladies at school who provided him with extra meals. Despite his weight struggles, James managed to secure a job in security after high school. This afforded him the means to move to Florida and pursue a career in music. There, he met a woman named Pumpkin and they began dating and living together. However, due to his weight issues, James decided to return to New York to be closer to his family and work on improving his lifestyle. Motivated by the support of his loved ones, James prepared for his journey to Dr. Now's clinic in Houston, Texas. However, even the smallest steps posed challenges for him, as the excess weight put immense strain on his legs and heart. Nonetheless, James remained committed to making the most of his difficult situation. Upon meeting with Dr. Now, James acknowledged that he needed to change his eating habits to achieve his weight loss goals. He explained that he struggled to enjoy his own cooking, leading him to rely on ordering food that contributed to his weight gain. Yes, I am. And who is this young lady? What's my cousin? Cheyenne. Cheyenne. I'm his cousin, Cheyenne. All right. So now I need to get this weight off of me. Okay. So you're 625 pounds. 
Yeah. What you have mean? Yes, sir. Okay, so how do you think you got to this point? Eating. Um, I'm eating outside foods. I'm I'm not able to cook for myself because I'm not my cooking is not that good on a day to day basis. Lunch, breakfast, dinner is being getting unhealthy meals from outside delivery. Well, they can deliver the salads. So the issue is the food you're choosing and the man. Because of my weight. So you're depressed because of your weight, and your weight is depressing you, and then you eat. So I just, I just block myself off from the world. Um, you know. Doctor now emphasized the necessity of immediate changes in James's eating habits, making it clear that weight loss surgery would be the ultimate solution. He set a goal for James to lose 80 pounds in two months emphasizing that there was no quick fix and that it would require ongoing commitment and effort. James's journey was marked by trials and tribulations. He had to bid farewell to his favorite food and embrace portion control and an exercise regimen. His cousin Cheyenne provided unwavering support, pushing him to eat at home and adopt healthier habits. However, James encountered an unexpected setback when his father passed away all of a sudden, causing him to neglect his diet and prioritize emotional support for his grieving mother. Understanding James's circumstances, Dr. Now allowed him more time but stressed the urgency of his health. During their follow-up appointment, James had made progress but just not enough. Dr. Now urged him to make changes to his diet counseling him to seek help from a psychotherapist to address his depression. With a goal of losing 100 pounds in three months, Dr. Now emphasized the need for James to take his health seriously. Despite the obstacles he faced, James remained dedicated to his weight loss journey. He made changes to his diet, avoided fried foods, and utilized an air fryer to prepare healthier snacks. His family and friends continued to provide support and encouragement throughout the process. Number 3. Megan Davis In the shadows of her weight, Megan Davis fought to reclaim her life. From the moment TLC aired her episode on My 600 Pound Life in 2020, the world saw a glimpse of her struggle. At the tender age of 24, Megan's dream seemed distant, suffocated by her own flesh. The battle against food addiction was etched into her existence, a constant companion that overshadowed any hope of motherhood. Heartbroken doctors shattered her dreams, condemning her weight as an impenetrable fortress against conception. She longed for the days of motherhood, but her body held her captive, aching for release. She just constantly eats and eats, but um, I do fix a meal when she wakes up because I know she's... I would love to be independent and not have to rely on anyone. I mean, I know it's a burden on getting weaker and weaker, and eventually one day they're just going to not be able to I wish I could change and be healthy and be happy. Megan can't do anything like she used to be able to and so she just eats for come. A sense of love and a sense of fullness. As Megan shared her story on the show, she bared her soul, revealing the complexities of her relationship. While her connection with her parents remained solid, her half-sisters cast shadows of jealousy upon her. Step by step, they chipped away at her confidence, treating her as an outcast, a burden too heavy to bear. High school became a tormenting battlefield where taunts and laughter drowned out her dreams. Among the cruel hallways, Megan found solace in the embrace of food, her only sanctuary in a world that offered little respite. But as graduation drew near, her weight had soared to a staggering 600 pounds, weighing down her spirit and dimming her future. Fate twisted in unexpected ways when Megan found herself trapped in an abusive relationship woven through the deceitful threats of the online world. Yet, in the darkness, a glimmer of hope emerged as she reunited with her mother. A beacon of light, her mother guided her towards healthier choices, nurturing her body and spirit alike. Dr. Now became Megan's ally, leading her to a transformative journey. With his guidance, she shed layers of burden, shedding the weight that had shackled her. The scales tipped at 481 pounds. But where is Megan now? Silence resonates through her Facebook page, a void left unexplored. Perhaps in her absence, she's found solace beyond the digital realm. One can only hope, though. 
Well, that's good. So you are uh, 604 pounds and BMI? I have. I've been overweight since I was probably about one. Yeah. So what happened with that? You had the blood clot? Yeah, in 2007. That's a very serious health issue to have out of your weight. I don't. All right, so. Uh, yes, all of my health problems is due to my weight. Okay, then why are you continuing to do so? Honestly, I don't have an answer for you, doctor. I don't know. You don't know. That's your And you're in butt thinner and butt pressure medication, mm -hmm. and all the issues are because of you. You did. <laughs> um... Okay, so we got one element of you lose 40 pounds easily each month. So over the next two months, I want you to lose 80 pounds, okay? okay? Number two, Ashley Taylor. Ashley Taylor, featured on season eight of My 600 Pound Life, garnered attention for her tumultuous journey towards weight loss and the challenges she faced along the way. At the age of 24, Ashley had already lost 150 pounds, putting her on track to qualify for weight loss surgery. However, renowned bariatric surgeon Dr. Yu Nam Nazaruddin questioned the validity of her claims as he couldn't find any medical records to support her weight loss achievement. During her episode, Ashley revealed that food was her only companion as she had lived alone and struggled with loneliness. She expressed frustration with Dr. Nao's skepticism and stormed out of one of her appointments, though she eventually returned to continue her treatment. Ashley's weight struggles were deeply intertwined with traumatic experiences in her life, including her father abandoning her as a child and being a victim of rape by a neighbor. Her support system was limited to her mother, who was sent to an epilepsy institution, and her grandmother, who passed away when Ashley was 20. To cope with her emotional pain, Ashley resorted to overeating and catfishing people online, creating numerous personas. Dr. Now recommended therapy sessions with Lola Clay, where Ashley was diagnosed with major depressive disorder and showed signs of borderline personality disorder. Members with emotional issues, psychiatric issues, or substance use problems, you've done some things. I've done some stuff to hurt them. I'm no angel. So now you have... And I went viral. That's why me and my family don't talk, because it hurt them. Online personas. Exactly. And so your alter ego, it, this other persona. And so can you tell me what some of these personalities represented? For you to listen to what I'm about to describe to you, OK? You're describing a psychotic break. Transparent online description and profile for yourself, OK? Do it. Okay, Ashley. Thanks so much for being here today, Ashley. Thank you so much for having me. Since her appearance on the show, Ashley has remained elusive on social media, providing no updates on her weight loss journey. She made appearances on MTV's Catfish and was even part of an intervention during her second episode. Rumors circulated that she was dating Jerry Seint, the ex-boyfriend of Thousand Pound Sister star Tammy Sladen. Although photographs of Ashley and Jerry together surfaced, their current relationship status remains unclear. Ashley's time on My 600 Pound Life was marked by controversy, including her past involvement in catfishing and clashes with Dr. Now. However, the hope is that she's receiving the necessary support and making progress towards a healthier and happier life. As she remains absent from social media, the details of her ongoing journey and transformation are unknown as of now. Number 1. Octavia Nichelle Octavia Nichelle, formerly known as Octavia Gahagans, rose to fame as a participant in Season 7 of the popular reality show My 600 Pound Life. Like many others on the show, Octavia's weight had severely impacted her quality of life. However, she was determined to make a change and sought the assistance of renowned bariatric surgeon Dr. Now. Octavia's weight gain struggles began after allegedly being molested by her stepfather, leading her to turn to food for solace. By the age of 20, she had reached a staggering 500 pounds. Unfortunately, tragedy struck when she lost her mother, and Octavia took the responsibility of caring for her younger sister, who eventually got married. Okay, all right. I'll just sit up on the side of the bed. Everything. Two. Three. 
I got you, I got you. You ain't going nowhere. Thank you. Appreciate it. I want her to hit her goal and get to a healthier place to make this trip safer. It's embarrassing to have all of this just to be able to leave my apartment. I love y'all. Be good, okay? Promise me. I know it's God's will that she goes down here and does this, and He's going to take care of her. When Octavia finally arrived in Houston to see Dr. Now, her weight had escalated to 692 pounds, causing serious mobility issues. Despite the challenges she faced, Octavia wholeheartedly embraced the weight loss instructions provided on the show. With unwavering determination, she shed a remarkable 236 pounds, bringing her weight down to an impressive 456 pounds. In addition to her transformation, Octavia established a public Facebook page called The Life of Octavia where she shares updates about her journey and inspires others to overcome their own obstacles. Her social media presence extends to Instagram, where she recently celebrated her sister's achievement of obtaining a Bachelor of Science degree in Health Administration. Octavia views herself as a public figure, particularly in the realm of weight loss, and maintains an active YouTube channel as of today. Beyond her online persona, Octavia is also an entrepreneur running a custom jewelry brand called Chains and Crayons. While she promotes her business on social media, Octavia predominantly shares glimpses into her personal life and achievements. Well guys, that about does it for today's video and we'll see you again next time.